Hey there, Chad Bonger here for Ohio University Libraries. If you're looking to open a new business and entertain a new business concept, you fashion yourself quite the entrepreneur, you want to understand your consumer, your ideal customer in your particular industry or product category. This video shows you how to use Simmons OneView to get detailed, granular level information about your ideal customer in your environment. So here you go. So when we first get to Simmons, you'll notice we are on the Quick Reports tab. What we want to try to find is our target information about our target consumer. So what I'm going to do is compare uh, people who play golf to people who uh, ride bicycles. And in this case, I'm actually going to go in. I don't know where golf is. I'm going to go and search all questions and answers for golf. And this is going to give us a variety of things. You know, cable television, who watches golf on TV or travel for golf or go to a golf store and shopping. But in this case, I want to find people who play golf every chance they get. And all you're going to do is drag it over there to the target and then close the target window. Click on demographic profile and then run your analysis. And what this will give you is a basic uh, demographic profile of those people who play golf every chance they get. So you get education level, you get uh, median age, all that kind of stuff. Now if we want to change that, we can go back and click edit and then clear it out and then click edit on the target. And in this case, I'm actually going to browse instead of search, just to kind of show you the variety of information that you can find within Simmons OneView. In this case, uh, our sporting activities is, is under uh, entertainment and leisure. And you can see there's all kinds of stuff on physical fitness programs, movies, games and toys, um, sports interests. In this case, we find sports played uh, occasionally or every chance I get or in the last 12 months. And this is the variety of sports that are available to us in the data. We find bicycling and mountain biking, bicycling or mountain biking, excuse me. We close it out again, and we're once again going to run our analysis. So to compare these two, all we would basically have to do is basically, you know, look at the two and see how they overlap. And while that is one way to compare um, different uh, profiles of people who, who participate in different activity, a cross tab is actually a more efficient a way to to understand uh, differences in in people who buy a different product or engage in different activity. So next, we're going to look at what a cross tab is. To get to cross tab, you're just going to click on the cross tab tab, and then we're going to go through the the search menu on the left hand side and browse to the things we want to to add to uh, our columns. In this case, we're going to browse to sports and fitness, and we're going to look at you know, sports played every chance I get, and we'll drag the sports that we want to compare into the column area. So in this case, we're going to compare bicycling to and mountain biking to playing golf to jogging and running. Now what we want to do is find something to compare uh, those three columns with. And in this case, we can go down under shopping, and you can choose whatever criteria you want to to compare uh, I'm looking at uh, under, sh under sporting goods. Do you own? And you can see there's all kinds of information in here. Uh, do you own things like uh, a bicycle? Right? So we can see like what percentage of golfers own a bicycle? Or what percentage of uh, runners own golf clubs? And we can go in and look and have you purchased any of these items in the last 12 months? So in this case, we can say, well, do you, do you, um, what percentage of, of golfers have bought a bicycle in the last 12 months? Or what percentage of uh, runners have bought golf clubs in the last 12 months? Or in this case, what percentage of golfers have bought golf balls? So we're going to compare all those using the columns and rows in the cross tab. Once we're satisfied with that, we just run cross tab, and that will give us the information presented in a table format. It's a little bit goofy to read. So in this case we're looking at uh, people who, what percentage of people who uh, jog every chance they get, it looks like 21 percent of them using the vertical percentage own golf clubs. That's good to know, right? We can also look at what percentage of people who play golf every chance they get 
bought golf clubs in the last 12 months. Looks like 24%, which makes sense because golfers are probably going to be more inclined, you know, your heavy duty golfers will be more inclined to buy some golf clubs. And we're once again going to look at people who uh, mountain or, or road bike. And it looks like 75.2% of them bought a bicycle or own a bicycle, excuse me. Right, that makes sense. You got to own a bicycle to be a hardcore cyclist for the most part. And 16% of them bought a bicycle in the last 12 months. So if you're going to use the vertical percent, you're going to start at the top and you're going to read the percentage, in this case 5.2%, over to uh, bought a bicycle. So you're going to start at the top and go to the left. You can export this data into an Excel format. This is actually what I'd recommend once you get a good, good file, a uh, good table going because it'll, it'll open into a, an Excel file and be just a little bit easier uh, to, to read and to manipulate and change um, what the, uh, uh, the table views and that sort of thing. So here's an example of what it looks like in Excel. And you can kind of change the columns and manip manipulate it however you want to that way. Hope this video helped you to better understand how to use Simmons One View. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.